Hey everyone, it's Fanola Howard, and yes, I'm a little late today. I'm really sorry, okay? So, but I'm here now, and it's just a few minutes late, and maybe you used that time to be calm and enjoying the sun. So I've got sun today. <laughs> maybe spring is coming. So, okay, anyway, so focus, Fanola. Yes, okay, all right, so. Welcome to Ask Fanola How, episode 31. I love it. And this is a great question, and it seems to be a little bit of a theme at the moment in what I'm writing about and the interactions on uh, some of the Get Strategic programs and stuff like this, which is we're talking about uniqueness, okay? And here's the question, because this will ground our discussion today. So the question from the real entrepreneur who I love, by the way, <laughs> is nobody is talking about the emotional impact of the area I work in, should I? Okay, so just to give you context, they've said nobody's talking about the imp emotional am impact of and then told me what that area was. But of course, I don't want to reveal who it is or their story. So let's kind of think about this idea, the essence of it. She goes on to say, in my industry, it's usually very prescriptive in how people speak. They give solutions, but nobody speaks about the emotional impact of this issue, okay? If it's so obvious to me, why aren't people talking about it already? Why is it not already an established space to speak about? Should I risk it or should I go another way, okay? So, <clears throat> so interesting, right? Because... Everything that you hear and you read and that I've studied and everything, everything that you read about marketing, at the heart of marketing is about finding your uniqueness. And this is so interesting because we are looking for uniqueness. We're trying to find out our point of difference, our onlyness statement, our USP, our unique selling proposition, our unique selling point. And yet, when we find it, we get scared. Okay? when we get a glimmer of our unique position and this unique story that we can tell to the world, we are at first scared. We're only first scared before we start to embrace it. So this will pass, okay? So, because what can happen is you can end up hiding because, oh my God, I found it and nobody else has done it. And you're looking around and you're going, should I talk about it? Should I take the risk? Okay, I'll add a caveat here, okay? My caveat is in the wellness space, in other spaces, health and wellness space predominantly, there will be other spaces. I will put the caveat in, there are some things that you can't speak about. Um, and that, and the reason for that is there's legislation to protect consumers and rightly so. So we respect that. But it's not unique here. It's not you know, we respect our customer space, we respect the legislation, we respect not making promises that we can't back up, evidentiary uh, promises that we can't back up. But you would be surprised about the prevalence of this reticence to truly embrace uniqueness, okay? So if you see that nobody else is speaking about it, check in with yourself first and check in with the market just to see there's nothing there, that there's a reason why they're not doing it, why they're not speaking about it and then take a breath because in most cases it's just that you've seen something that nobody else has or that you have a way of seeing it of articulating it and making sense of it that nobody else has so it's worth exploring I wouldn't walk away I would be delighted to find something that nobody else is doing and I would embrace this uniqueness that I have found in myself or that you have found in yourself and really explore it, but let's be methodical about it, okay? And I'll also say this, uniqueness can often be so subtle we can miss it, right? So subtle because what we do for a living and what we create and make for a living, we forget that it is uniquely ours and uniquely us. We really do forget it and it can be so subtle and so our own skills and expertise can be so, uh, natural to us that we forget it's not natural to everybody else so if we start the premise with we are in in essence we are automatically unique because we all have unique voices if we are in essence thinking about that and then if we see next 
that there is something here that nobody else is saying and we've done our caveat and we've checked then this is worth exploring this is your holy grail your uniqueness and we can start to put shape on it this is what this is actually part of the practice that i do in the brand practice which is to uncover what's already there because you don't have to create it invariably it's already there i see somebody at my door right now so i have to be careful <laughs> okay so look for proof that this is worth exploring okay so what i want you to do is if this is something that you're really looking into i want you to find these safe spaces these networks or uh, accountability groups that you're in and test it if you're not sure test if it resonates does this make sense test it there test it in a google search to make sure that there's something in this worth exploring and as you explore in Google and as you watch the faces of those in your, your, uh, your uh, accountability group or your networks and places that are safe for you to test ideas, always have a place to test ideas, to test your ideas, to make sure that they resonate. Okay, so look in Google, look in your accountability groups, test it. And when you watch their faces and see the results and how you can actually build out this idea even more coherently and groundedly, then you know there's something worth exploring. And then what I would do, if I was you, I would really frame it, uh, perhaps make it a pillar topic of cornerstone piece of something that you can become known for. Because in essence, we want to become known for things. We want to become known for our areas of expertise so we can grow our businesses. So catch it, capture it, find the gap, understand it, leverage it, move it, work with it and embrace that uniqueness that is uniquely yours because it will make all the difference to your business because this is your space to stand out above the rest. That voice that is uniquely yours. And this has been Ask Finola How, episode 31. And here we talked about your beautiful, wonderful, much needed uniqueness in the world. Have a wonderful day.